What there was something else with the Ezio collection. Um, I had some written down. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, so just finishing up Revelations again and just um and playing through it all. There's a couple mm. of things I, I I noted down. I tweeted about them. I did a bit a little bit of a tweet fest. Um, so this is the first time I thought about this. This is probably my tenth time I played through Revelations. I'd say. Okay. At the end of Revelations, so- Sophia says a line. And it kind of got me thinking. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So she goes, you do like the library door puzzle and mm-hmm. it's fucking easy as shit. And then she goes, you better come out of there alive. And she goes, I plan to. Mm-hmm. And it's after this nice, cool dialogue. And, you know, it's kind of like, well, there's no danger in the library. And I know this. There's no tension. It's just literally 20 minutes of watching something happen. There's no tension, no obstacles. Mm-hmm. You open the door. You go in and it just all plays out. And I thought to myself, for a game that really is built around mystery, especially Revelations where you've been doing all these tombs to get each key, you'd yeah. think if there's something as crazy as a piece of Eden locked inside, I thought it would be the most epic of epic tombs to go through to get said Apple of Eden or whatever Altair is locked away in there. So, like, you know, Altair walks in and he presses, like, a lever and that locks him in it and then like kind of launches the I'd say, whatever the tomb or whatever. So it's not like Alte is running through a tomb before he dies just to set it up. You know what I mean? Like mm. levers it. I don't know. I was just thinking like how much better to me would it be for a, you know, five to 10 minute epic mystic journey through the undergrounds of Masyaf where this library is to get to, Altair's final resting place or this secret destination, you're like... And by that point, especially in your first playthrough, you don't know Altair is in there. You're just like, holy shit, there must be something epic in here mm. if you know you get these keys because, you know, Altair even says, you know, tell them I sent it away, tell them I dropped it into the sea, I sent it to Cyprus, like, keep people away from this place. But the Templars find out about it. The Templars find out about it and try to get the keys. Like... To me, the whole test of getting the keys is, you know, to prove you're in, like if the right person is going to get them. I'll tell you, hid the keys and did all this so that the right person got this message. Mm. And to me, it's a risk, right, where who anyone could get those keys. The, the Templars could have gotten the keys. They already had one of them. They could have gotten the key and gotten the apple yeah. if they had all the keys, right? But they couldn't if there was some epic, you know, assassin test to get in there. So to me... You don't just need the keys to get into the library. That unlocks the tomb. The tomb is what really tests that the right person is getting the message. That's all I was thinking. Mm, no, I love but... the way it ends. I don't, I don't think you need to change it. I'm just saying I thought of a what-if scenario for it. I mean, yeah, it's cool. I mean, I, I'm i never against having tombs. Tombs are great. But I think that wasn't the... the I mean, technically, you had a test to get each key. They were... They were the easiest of the tombs. They're the funnest of the, all the tombs you play, but they were so easy, man. Yeah, but like, they were technically... Technically, they were tests, though. Like, sure, at one point, Ezio's no. dangling, like, across this... Like, it looks like a fucking bottomless pit, like, in this cave with these flimsy, like, wooden structures. <laughs> but out of, like, the six... or oh, sorry, the five keys, the Templars are, like, found one of them, and they're at the destination of three of them. You know what I mean? Like... They could have found him if Ezio wasn't there in terms of logic, right? So I'm just thinking Probably. in terms of what Altair was thinking uh, with, like, hiding his keys away. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, would they even have been able to put them in the door properly? Because, like, I didn't even know what the fuck I was doing when I put the keys in the Masyaf, like, the door. Like, it took me a yeah. while to realize. True. I was like, okay, so they have to go on the eagle in the right direction. I mean, if you don't have eagle vision, it could take you a really long time to get them in the right place. That's a very legit point about the eagle vision. Because, you know, it's a sa- the eagle vision is really an assassin trait, an assassin skill. It's not, though, at all. Yeah, it is, actually. No, it's not. It's... Because it's it's a, it's a first civ DNA, so anyone can have eagle vision. Yeah, well, it's not... Yeah, but the, like Shea the, Patrick whole... Cormac, our favorite Irish assassin gone Templar. He had it. <laughs> anyway, um, ah, great. what so I'm did saying, Hate well, them as well. Actually, he had it as well. 
Yeah, he, his dad was also an assassin. His son was also an yeah, assassin. Yeah, it's not an assassin thing at all. No, well, well, let me explain. I'm not saying okay. it's an assassin trait. The assassin order was built around people who had eagle vision and high concentration of first civilization DNA. Was it, though? Yes, it was. You sure? First of all, yeah, I'm a, a million percent sure. First of all, it's talked about uh, in the wiki and all the deep lore, but also my next episode of Assassin's Creed, the truth shameless plug here is me going through all of the Assassin's Creed two glyphs and playing through all the glyphs and explaining all the background lore that we go through in the glyphs on the fly. Now it's really long to edit and I don't know how many releases cause it's fucking long as shit. It's like an hour, but in it, they literally, he literally talks about these people that have that ability or what built the assassins. Those are the people that got together and built the assassins. The people like Adam and Eve that fought against and could resist the peace of Eden. But what about what about? So in, the... in nowadays, the further history went, it became there were people that were never discovered with that ability that weren't assassins. Some Templars, as we know, well, Shea was an assassin first, and Hatham was related mostly to assassins. Should have been an assassin, but there are other people, obviously, but. The assassins originally were looking for people and were people of that mind, like Adam and Eve. Yeah, but what about but okay crossbred? Cross but Altair people. was the only assassin that had eagle vision or or had. I don't know if that's true. First in DNA, but true. no, it it is because um, in that time period, anyways, because Alan William controlled everyone with the piece of Eden, so they couldn't have had first of DNA, which means they couldn't have had eagle vision. Interesting. Altair yeah, was point. the only one who was able to. Like it's, well, it's saying, Ubisoft, well, so saying, it's all like, retconned is... anyway. So yeah, it doesn't fucking also... matter. Yeah, no, that's a legit point right there. But no, I don't mean like every assassin has it right. Like I mean, original what the assassins were built around was that. Like in the glyph, sixteen talks about like because the glyphs kind of each glyph follows like a story, right? Like they they kind yeah. of follow up against each other. There's like segments. Like well, first they just explains the apples, then they explain the different pieces of Eden, and then he goes on to explain how history has you know you, figures have used these pieces of Eden, and then how um, you know revolutions were done and like people were controlled, yada yada yada. Later on, it talks about how um, the humans were genetically modified with a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A um, a cell in the brain that only humans had. That oh yeah, the, the, the neuron the, 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 thing. Yeah, the neuron. Yeah, the yeah the neuron in a human's brain that the for, the Isu put in there so that the piece of Eden could only you know trigger it. Yeah. Um. So it's the people. The only people that could resist are those that are crossbred. Yes. Uh, with Isu, and there's a whole segment about crossbreeding in the glyphs. There's one of the glyphs is about crossbreeding, and then the next glyph after that is talking about how those are the people that started the order, the assassins, and it was those people that started that order to fight against, yeah, and all that sort of stuff. So it mentions it in the glyphs that those are the people that began the order. So that's okay. the that's how people got confused that's, later, that's saying point. Adam and Eve were the first assassins, which they weren't. The order wasn't started until much later, but they were of the same mindset in terms of they were crossbred humans with Isus. Yes. That's so that's true. where the confusion came. Okay, that's a good point. That's yeah, that makes sense now. Yeah, but I thought that was an interesting point. But what were we talking about? Oh yeah, the oh the library, library too. What do you think? Are you totally I mean, against it? No, I'm not. I just think that, to me, it kind of... when Because like, everything's kind of winding down. Like, you have the last key. Like, Amet's dead. You go to Masiak. You're with Sophia. Yeah. And then... I think terrible, though. Oh, I don't care about him. He's a cunt, but... I oh, know, exactly. You don't care about him. No, That's I don't to be care, but... Climactic ending? No, no, that wasn't really. I think the climactic ending was the going into the library. But I don't think there needed to be any kind of action sequence. I think that it's kind of like that's the end of the journey. You go in and like you have this kind of mysterious vibe with everything, and you know. But well, I'm, you not, a, but I'm not against the tomb, to... though. Yeah, it didn't have to be like a. Well, I think it's not. Well, I'm not thinking of some big action-packed tomb, right? I'm thinking about some just puzzles mystery. Like it's added. It's just building up because you're there and you're like, holy shit, what is it? And then you've just got like another. Yeah, you know, actually, yeah, no, that makes to sense. the final reveal, just like, uh, like, holy shit, what is it? And it's not like, there's no action pack. You're not really a risk of death. You've just got to kind of like follow through. All these things are being activated. You've just got to do these kind of like lever pulling. You're like, holy shit, what is this? It's really like locked in there. This huge mystery mm. and vault you're going through almost. It's just, you know, 
Yeah, that would make sense. And if you had, like, uh, if it was, as you went through, you kind of learned more about the assassins, in a sense. Like, it was kind of like, it kind of, like, was a tomb, in a way. Kind of like the Auditory yeah. Family Crypt, how you learn about the Auditory Family. You could learn about the uh, Masia assassins, in some in some sense. And and you could have even, like, I'm sure they could retcon, like, they could have retconned some special, like, I mean, even the Altair keys were kind of retcon new things they just added in. Yeah. I imagine they could have been similar to, like, a vault at the end of Brotherhood when Desmond goes through and Juno's talking. Yeah. Actually talking, instead of being, like, the auditory family where you're reading, it could be Altair projections. That'd be kind of cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or you have, yeah, or, like, bleeding effect sort of thing. You know what I yeah. mean? Where, like, you're getting talked to through the bleeding effect because, I don't know, I'll tell you, knew somehow through the Apple that he was sending messages to someone with the bleeding effect. Yeah, true. Um, so, I work. was just like, you know what I there think... could have been really interesting things they could have played around with there. Yeah, you know what I think's add... great is the, the fact that we've lost so much hope with Assassin's Creed that we're speculating about Revelations and what they could have done with Revelations because it's gone just to make it so horribly yeah. downhill. <laughs> yeah oh god 